everyone. Welcome back to A Cup of Tea with Shauna Marie. I've had company this week. sisters came by they were actually going past my house last week to visit with a sister who just had a baby and then on their way home they also saw me again and went and saw my brother and other sister yes. a little northwest I have six sisters and five brothers so there's seven girls all together and five boys in my family so that was really nice and um, it just so happens that this week we are doing, and I'm looking over here at the screen to see my Bible verses, um. 1 Peter 4, 9, and 10, which says, Be hospitable to one another without complaint, as each one, of, as each one has received a special gift, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And um, I um, really find hus being hospitable very easel easily. I find being hospitable easy um, because I love having people over, but especially when it's family and especially when it's my mom. So great to have my mom here. So, of course, um, don't really need a Bible verse to tell me that when I really want to see my family. But there is something about hospitality that Sometimes we have to check ourselves, um, depending on um, who's coming over or how inconveniencing it might be upon our week or um, how much money it might cost to feed our guests. <laughs> um, that wasn't the case this weekend, of course, but being hospitable might be difficult for some people, especially if they are so busy they have no time for people. You know, you can even be hospitable on the phone. Um, you might be giving your time to somebody who needs to talk and doing that without complaining or feeling oh they took some of my day away that is very important that you would be hospitable in that way with your time um, I think I've heard that when Peter wrote this I, I might be incorrect but I think I heard that it was especially important to the Christians to be instructed this way because I think some of the Christians were away from their homes and their resources and they needed the other believers to take care of their needs. But it's a, uh, a reality that still stands. We're to be hospitable to one another without complaint. As each one has received a special gift, employee in serving one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So if you were a believer in those days that um, had what you needed, you had your house, you had goods, you should share them with the people who came and didn't have their stuff with them. Um, but we should do this anyway in our lives every day. Um, whether we're going through a special kind of situation or not, there's always somebody who could use a friend, a listening ear, a cup of tea, or something. <laughs> so, um, a good word to remember today. Uh, Earlier this week, just a couple days ago, I took a little, little clips of, um, of my life on Monday morning, just, just a little bit. I thought you might be entertained by it. Good morning. It's Monday morning, and we have had a lot of wind last night. And it seems like this is a far-reaching wind, so maybe you have had a lot of wind, too. I was thinking this morning that maybe... You all would like to see a little bit more vlogging in my life, and so I thought I'd just put a little tiny bit of vlogging in a cup of tea. Good grief. Look what the wind did to our beautiful lattice. What? Look what happened. What happened? 
What? Why do you want me to feed you like a baby? You're a big boy. Is it hard to eat this food? I, I put bacon in it, red peppers, onions. What's the matter here? Isn't it good? My mom and two of my sisters were visiting recently and they bought me this lovely mat to stand on when I'm doing the dishes. Well, actually my mom bought it. And I need to do the dishes. Samuel, you have too much energy, so I need you to jump on your bed. Jump! Jump, jump, jump! Get all the energy out. That's what we do okay, when we live yeah. in a small apartment. And then we gotta really, yeah, start with our homeschool. Now that you finally finished your breakfast only because I fed you. So you like, you like doing math, huh? Yeah. Yeah. S A M U Ah, that's better. Some cleaned my hand, others thrown in the dishwasher. Bye bye, we'll wash you later. And this is a little bit what our school board might look like from week to week. This, I usually write what day it is. It did say Saturday, and I need to change it to Monday. Mommy? But somebody... Somebody erased some of the words. Was that my company that was here? I am highly suspicious of them or my I'm right husband. here, Mommy! Okay, now we're on track. <laughs> okay, now getting the washer going and... So... Um, if I was to give a tip on getting a lot done in the week, I would say it's good to limit how much time you put into each thing that you do, unless it's something you're supposed to take a lot of time on. So if you need to do laundry, you need to do dishes, you need to do homeschooling, it's good to move each of those subjects along with your children, you know, okay, this much time for each subject, or this much time for laundry, this much time for dishes, because you could get consumed with one thing and forget the other stuff. So that's my housekeeping tip for you this week, and I hope to see you next week for a cup of tea with Shauna Marie. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell for more notifications. Oh, and be sure to tell a friend about this wonderful channel. Thanks. Bye. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay. What? This is Luna Mario, and this is Zuma right now. Ha, 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 ha. Did you really, really, really want to be part of this? Okay, you're a part of it now.